Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'll show you side-by-side -side comparison of, Raze, uh, of Asus ROG Gladius 2 versus Logitech G502 Lightspeed. This is just an information video about the specs of these products and if you want to know the actual prices, check links in the description down below. When you take a closer look on these two, you'll find out that they are meant to be for two different purposes. I would say that Asus is the mouse for FPS and Logitech for MMOs. And I kinda think that's true because you are really lacking the ergonomics on uh, Rock Gladius 2 compared to G502. I see uh, Gladius being really somehow outdated since it's still kinda heavy it has no cable, both of them are wireless, obviously, but the click latency of 20 ms is just horrible. Horrible. Not very good for FPS. And the Logitech G502 is even covering these aspects better than the FPS mouse. And even it has that very nice alien looking like technology or ergonomics. It's bigger, it's kind of heavier, but 8 grams is nothing. It's just the Gladius 2 is really, really heavy. G502 has 132 grams compared to Gladius 124, which is not that, that much big of a difference. I really like the ergonomics on G502 better, and I overall think it's a better mouse. It has thumb rest and the more buttons, so you can enjoy. Both of them are fitting all hand types, but preferably medium to large. Both of them are rechargeable, and if you need to play a game or uh, play any kind of game, and also charge the mouse, you have braided cable to help you with that. In the package, you get extra weight for G502, so even though the mouse is heavy, you can make it even heavier how you need it. Asus is using Pixar 3389 sensor, starting at 100 CPI, maxing 16K and adjusting every 100 steps. Logitech is using Hero 25K, which is very high-end sensor, starting at 100 CPI, maxing 25600 and adjusting every 50 CPI. Gladius has 6 mechanical buttons and G502 has 12 mechanical buttons and the option of free wheel. That's the biggest difference, I would say, that the click latency when you are trying to play on receiver or wired is 12 ms and 10 ms compared to 21 and 20 and a half. Those are below mediocre numbers for Gladius and I should expect more from Asus. Both of them are using software that it makes them fully compatible with Windows and Mac as well. So guys, in my opinion, G502 all the way is probably the best mouse or hybrid mouse that you can buy with maybe bezel disk as well from Razer, but that's not fully compatible with Windows. With, I'm sorry, with Mac. But between those two, I would really go with G502. So thanks for watching. If you have different opinion, leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.